Hello friends, welcome back to Dayananta OFS Junior and today we are looking at our fourth biology class. Okay, and today we will be looking into V-Nation. Okay, first of all let us look into V-Nation. Okay, V-Nation. What is V-Nation? V-Nation is the arrangement of veins in the leaf. So the arrangement of veins in a given leaf is called venation and venation is of two types okay the first type is parallel okay parallel venation okay parallel venation and the next type is reticulate venation okay reticulate venation parallel venation and reticulate venation okay first of all let us look into parallel venation in parallel venation the veins are arranged parallel to each other in parallel venation veins are arranged parallel to each other for example if you take the banana leaf okay so it is somewhat like this okay a midrib will be going through here and a large leaf will be there okay so this is a banana leaf and how are the veins look the veins are somewhat like this okay the veins are going like this in the banana leaf okay can you see the veins are going like this in the banana leaf and you can see that these two lines are parallel to each other. Parallel means these lines doesn't meet. Okay, these lines doesn't meet or touch each other. So this is how the veins are in the banana leaf. Turn the tip of the leaf. For example, if you take normal grass, okay, normal grass, it is having a leaf like this and the venation is like this. Okay. A vein the next vein okay another vein look the venation is like this okay so in parallel venation the veins run parallel to each other towards the tip or the margin of the leaf okay in the normal grass plant the veins move towards the tip of the leaf okay but when you take the banana leaf okay when you take the banana leaf you can see that each vein points towards the margin of the leaf okay so in the banana leaf you can see that each vein moves towards the margin of the leaf while in the grass leaf you can see that the veins move towards the tip of the leaf okay so that is about parallel venation and in which type of plants can you find parallel venation parallel venation is found in monocot plants okay almost all monocot plants are having parallel venation okay what are monocot plants monocot plants when you take the seed of a monocot plant you can see that it just has one cotyledon okay and we'll be looking into detail about monocot plants and dicot plants soon in this lesson okay we'll be learning about monocot plants and dicot plants soon in this lesson okay so just know that parallel venation is found in monocot plants and parallel venation itself two types are there in type 1 the veins move towards the margin of the leaf in type 2 you can see that the veins move towards the tip of the leaf okay so that's about parallel venation and let us look into reticulate venation when the leaf has a network of veins and veinlets we say that the leaf is reticulate okay for example if you take the people leaf okay it has a midrib it has a midrib and when you look there will be side veins okay there will be side veins 
and from these veins other veins arise okay such a network is formed okay so somewhat like this okay this forming a network of veins and veinlets so this is reticulate venation okay in parallel venation the veins run parallel to each other while in the reticulate venation the veins form a huge network of veins and veinlets okay and in which type of plants can we find the parallel venation yeah of course monocots and just like that reticulate venation is found in plants called dicots okay dicots i told that in monocot plants the seed just has one cotyledon but in dicots there are two cotyledons so that is the difference and there are many other differences for example in dicots they will be having a tap root system while in monocots they are having a fibrous root system okay so here reticulate venation is there in dicot plants while parallel venation is there in monocot plants